Hi there, me, your friendly neighborhood humble stroke assaulter. With the magic of the internet and a wardrobe change by the adding of a purple plaid shirt, it looks like it's another day. Sadly, no, not another day. So, going to do a comments to questions and a response video again. Uh, so, first off, I'd just like to recognize a few things. Uh, one, in the past couple days, I've gained a bunch of new subscribers. I'm currently up to 66. I know exactly why this is, and we'll get to that in a minute. Um, now, some of you, it doesn't pop up with your name when you join, uh, and I'm sorry if I don't mention you by name, but Jacob Crossman, thank you for joining. Uh, you joined about 12 hours ago. I believe I have another new one that popped up. No, I don't. Um, so, it appears that you guys like my rant videos. When I do a rant, I get the best response out of my rants. Um, I've gotten, no, don't get me wrong, I've gotten good response out of the stroke videos, um, because that's mainly what this channel is about, is strokes, um, or stroke recovery, stroke rehab, my stroke journey, general stroke journey, advice, tips, tricks, hacks, whatnot. So, this channel was never meant to be a rant channel. I will do the odd rant. So, when I did the videos on those two idiots from Australia, Extreme Games, um, I got good response on those. When I did the video on Matt Mundane, um, and got decent numbers on those. Uh, and then I recently did a video on the Amber, it's called Amber Alert Outrage. And just for shits and gigs, I will leave a link in the description below of every rant video I've ever done. So, first off, let me just say, for all those 66 people that have joined the channel, thank you. For the people that have been here for longer period of time again thank you for sticking around for those of you who watch my content and haven't subscribed I'm going to encourage you you might want to subscribe you might get some beneficial things out of this um, that being said if you know someone that is going through their own post stroke journey or you yourself happen to be going through a post stroke journey or even from some form of neurological injury be it a brain injury uh, or any other form of neurological de deficit where you have things that might be similar in symptomology or outcome after a stroke, please join, like, join, subscribe, hit the little dingy 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 bell so you get the um, uh, notifications when videos get popped up. If there's something you want to see me cover, you can either leave a comment down below in the comments, so down there, right, use your keyboard, type on the internet, uh, or you can email me at strokeassaulter at gmail.com. If you email me, I, I right now, I've only got 60, 66 subscribers, um, I will respond to every comment that I'm able to. I will never delete a comment. So if you want to say shitty things on my channel, I'm not deleting it. We're going to discuss that in a minute, too. Um, so if you leave a comment, I try to interact with all my subscribers. Anyone who takes the time and effort to leave a comment. Um, and I'm going to try to do that as long as I can. I don't anticipate this channel blowing up to like some 2,000 subscriber base, but you never know. It's only been eight months. Eight months as of yesterday. So, first off, let's just discuss the Amber Alert video. I went to school at Fanshawe College in London for the 911 Operators Program. I'm very familiar with how the Amber Alert system is initiated, how it works. I also work in a call center for a major telecommunications company, and we have people that will call us and go, Why is there an Amber Alert on my TV? <laughs> I can't watch The Young and the Restless. <laughs> Because there's an Amber Alert that says someone's missing. Make it go away. I'm self-important. I've had that call. It is very difficult to be able to find the self-restraint to tell someone that they're not an idiot. So, I have this platform now. And I'm like, I'm going to make a video because you people are numpties. So I made a video about numpties. And it's got 230-some views, right, as of today, I believe. Let me just check. I'm not looking at the camera. I'm looking at my phone. As of right now, it's 11.54 on the 22nd of June. It has 231 views, 6 likes, 0 dislikes. Now, let's talk about this video in and of itself. This video... Um, 
it's only been up for three days, right? It's got almost 300 views. So that's pretty decent response in regards to my channel. It generated some of the most interesting comments. Now, I'm going to mention the divisive commenter, and I'm going to encourage you not, I say again, not to go on his channel, to spam his channel. Please do not in, get yourself engaged in an act of some kind of virtual harassment. If you do, I really don't care, nor can I control you, but I'm going to implore you, please don't. That's not what I'm looking for here, right? So a gentleman by the name of Theo T, who has around 1,800 subscribers, left this long, rambling, nonsensical, just... There's a word I want to use, but it's very socially unacceptable. Um, it's an R word. It has an R at the beginning. It has a D at the end. You might be able to figure it out. Um, he left this rather large, nonsensical comment about, we don't live in Russia, we live in Canada, we have freedom of choice, I have the right to opt out, blah, 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 blah. And I saw the comment, and I immediately went, what? And I'm like, talk to my girlfriend, and she said, just ignore the inner outrage. <laughs> Just let it just, just just let it go. Just let it go. So I ignored it. And G Blues Man, thank you. Thank you ever so much. You're one of my subscribers. You immediately uh, stepped up and left him a comment, uh, which then basically found gasoline on a fire. There's another person who left a comment. Unfortunately, the originating Theo T deleted his comments. I don't remember who you are. I'm sorry. I didn't get a chance to screenshot any of this. Um, food for thought for later. Uh, you also made some comments. Thank you again. So finally, I was about to go to sleep. And as I was about to turn in, turn in I figured now's the time to leave a comment. So I left two comments uh, in response to Theo T. The first one was for his long, rambling comment about, um, well, one, you live in Canada. I live in Canada. Can you please go to the Charter of Rights and Freedoms and please point out where mobile phone or cell cellular device Autonomy is a right granted in the Canadian Constitution or the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. Fun fact, it's not. Also, I pointed out to him that you have this arm of the federal government called the CRTC, which I'm intimately acquainted with, their policies and procedures, due to the nature of my job. The CRTC mandates all radio stations, all telephone, or that being cellular telecommunication companies, and all TV broadcasters, right, um, not the individual broadcaster per se, but TV providers like Bell, Rogers, Shaw, Kojiko, Videotron, um, uh, Tech Savvy, whoever, right? They are required to put up on their screens. And then the television stations themselves typically will break in with a news broadcast like a news alert, right? We um, in Canada are regulated by the CRTC for your telephone, your radio, your internet, your TV, your mobile phone. The CRTC mandates you get emergency alert action messages. That could be for weather, such as tornado uh, or um, really bad snow. That could be for an emergency event, uh, such as um, uh, like an active shooter or a um, like a 45 car pileup on the 401. And then you have persons in jeopardy, an Amber Alert. Uh, currently in Canada, there is no Godzilla warning system or Gojira in the original Japanese. Um, if we develop a Gojira warning system, I'm going to assume it's going to initiate in British Columbia because they're closer to Japan. Luckily, that's not a thing yet. So that being said, your telephone company is legally required to provide the warnings. You as a cellular phone subscriber are legally required to accept the warnings. There's no position to opt out. I ignored some of that comment because it was long and rambling and nonsensical. He then posted a rather racist post about how he's a European and he considers us Canadians to eat frozen spaghetti out of a can. Fun fact, I make my pasta sauce from scratch. From scratch. The only canned element I use will be canned stewed tomatoes. It's just easier. And maybe I'll do 
cooking after strokes and I'll show you how I make my pasta sauce. If you guys want to see me do some cooking videos, put a link below and I'll do cooking videos. Um, moving on. So I then left another comment because he left a comment that Canada is essentially a third world nation due to our healthcare system that patients are left languishing out in hallways. I had a stroke and I basically left this as a response. I had a stroke eight months ago. I spent three days, three and a half days in a hospital. At no point was I left waiting needlessly in a hallway. The only time I can vaguely remember being left in a hallway was when I was in the hospital in Barrie. They had to move me between two different testing stations and they told me it's, they were, they left me with a porter. So it's not like I was left unattended. They left me with a porter and said, you're going to go have this test. Then you're going to come back into the hallway. And as soon as the next room is available, we're moving you right into it. And then we're bringing you back to your room. So I was never left languishing, unattended, untreated un in a hallway. Um, I received the best possible health care. I received the best possible treatment. So Theo T, I, I don't know what you're talking about. So apparently I've acquired a cowardly troll. Um, I'm going to call him the, the, uh, the cowardly troll. So, as G, G Blues Man, you said in a comment, uh, it was on the bad day video, uh, keep us posted. I've just uploaded two videos or in the middle of uploading my return to work week eight and week seven videos. So you'll get to see what's going on there. Yeah. You know what G Blues Man, um, it is after a stroke. You're right. It is one day at a time. It is totally one day at a time. Um, Unfortunately, the only thing that is certain with stroke recovery is uncertainty. Every day can be uniquely different unto itself. And once you learn to accept that you can't predict any given day, right? that there's no predicting even 10 minutes from now, it's a thing. And as long as you've got friends and family and people around you that are willing to accept, understand, and work with you that Things will change on a dime, and there's nothing I can do about it. I'm not trying to be malicious, and I'm not trying to be vindictive, and I'm not trying to be a douche canoe. Right? It's just things will change, and there's literally nothing I can do about that. Right? I'm just scrolling through a few things here. Uh, Aries Dark Van Lore. Hi, I know who you are personally. You're good people. Uh, Aries Dark, one night you, me, and the gang from Toronto, we're going to sit down with a few tankards and uh, I will regale you of stories of how I've been involved in the battle with my stroke. Um, so... Isaac Newton, I haven't seen a comment from you in a while. I hope you're well. I really do. Uh, Joy Bradford, uh, again, I hope you are well and uh, everything is good in your world. Kings of CBD, hope your dad is doing well. I hope that uh, this is going to be the stroke folk roundup part of the, the answers to comments and questions. So Kings of CBD, I hope your dad is doing well. Um, you can let your dad know that for me, CBD and CBD THC oils, it, it's a godsend, an absolute godsend. Ashley Stubbings, how you doing, my dear? Think, hope things are well on your world. Um, I know you were stroke folk. Um, so I've gained 66 subscribers. I realize that some of the videos that I'm producing that are getting traction uh, are not directly stroke related. They're, they're my rants. If you guys want to see more rants, let me know in the comments down below. Um, again, this is not intended to be a rant or a debunking channel per se. But I am working on a few sna uh, snake oil salesman remedies and stroke, um, just to debunk some of those. Uh, again, not sort of to emulate Jeff Holiday or to emulate Miles Power. I, I love watching those guys' content. So Miles and, and Jeff, if you happen to see my content, great. Um, I do enjoy your content. Um, so 
I'm working on some videos like that. I'm still working on some return to work uh, videos. Eventually, I will get a better camera and, and learn how to edit better um, and just to produce, increase the production content and quality of the channel. Again, that is not me trying to garner sympathy uh, or pity because I'm not looking for your sympathy. You're not, not looking for your pity. None, none is being looked for. None, none will be accepted. And again, I'm not looking for donations. I'm not looking for someone to like, oh, please go on, a on Amazon and get me that microphone and get me that camera. That's not what I'm looking for, right? Um, I'm not looking for donations in any way. Uh, I'm going to start creating a, a schedule of release. I'm going to aim for two videos a week. Uh, one video, kind of a vlog update or a comments and questions video. And then the other video, a topic content video. Like, it could be anything. Like, adaptive devices for cooking. Or it could be um, anything, right? And then I will be shortly starting a second channel dealing with my hobby of airsoft uh, to, to help deal uh, just to educate people or things around some of the topics that I see that aren't covered on other airsoft channels um, and I've, I've got one channel why not create two you know so be it so ultimately just in response to comments and questions if there's something you want to see me cover you can either leave a comment on an appropriate video that I've already released or leave a comment on this video um, or you can contact me directly at strokeassaulter at gmail.com. Um, and if you ask me to leave you as an, an anonymous entity, I won't mention your name. I won't mention anything about you. If you don't say, hey, you don't talk about me, I will assume you're giving me permission to identify you publicly, uh, which I may or may not do, my discretion. Um, although I have considered doing one anti-woo video just for shits and gigs. I have considered buying a homeopathic first aid kit and consuming half the contents during a live stream to see if I can overdose on homeopathy. <clears throat> I doubt it. That's because I'm going to take the other half of the homeopathic first aid kit and take it to a lab and have them analyze it. And then I'm going to overdose on woo. Um, I've considered doing that. Um, so... Basically, I'd like to thank everyone that's been watching my content for the past eight months. Uh, it's eight months and a day today since my stroke. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone that's taken the time to leave comments down below. I'd like to thank everyone that's taken the time to subscribe. Um, and I'd just like to take the time to thank everyone that's taken time out of their day to watch any, any one of my videos, in part or in whole. Uh, I know... My channel is relatively small. I've only got 66 subscribers. I realize that the videos that get the most traction uh, are either my rant videos or the sex after stroke video did really, really well. Uh, the suicide and self-harm video did fairly well. And again, the purpose of this channel wasn't really to become some huge YouTuber, right? Um, I don't anticipate at the current rate of growth this channel become monetized and nor is that really an ultimate goal per se if it does become monetized at some point and i get to the 1000 subscriber mark great so be it if it doesn't so be it i'm willing to accept either outcome uh, just i would hope that people find some use out of the content they are gaining insight out of the content they are getting knowledge out of the content for those that are helping support someone that's going through their post-stroke journey you get some better insights, uh, some better ways to deal with your loved one. And for those of you that are going through your own post-stroke journey, you know you're not alone, right? Um, you know that I might be going through some of the exact same things you are, and I might not be. Either way, um, you're not alone, right? And the reason why I say that is because after you've had a stroke, this whole stroke thing can be fairly isolating. It's hard to find people that you relate to, right? Because the people around you don't have a fucked up thinker. So on that note, I'd like to thank everyone that's taken the time to watch my videos, taken the time to subscribe, and or leave comments. If you want to leave a comment down below, please leave a comment down below. If you want to contact me directly, again, strokeassaulter at gmail.com. And if you happen to be going through your own post stroke journey, please like, share, subscribe. If you know someone that's going through the support of their 
loved ones post stroke journey please like share subscribe hit the little bell the little dingy 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 thing to get the notifications and i implore you if you happen to notice either in yourself or someone around you the signs or symptoms of a stroke that being somebody appears to not be able to keep their balance they appear appear befuddled or confused <laughs> wow aphasia um, they have eye problems. They're having vision issues somehow. They can't see it in one eye. They can't move their eyes in one direction. Uh, they see in grayscale. They can only see a little bit of the world. Uh, they happen to have facial droop. They can't raise both arms equally effectively or at all. Uh, they have uh, slurred, stuttering speech, inappropriate word usage for situation or context. They can't smile equally effectively or at all. They have general body weakness, weakness on one side. They can't stand unaided. Please immediately place that person in a position of comfort and dial 911. One, something so simple can save a life.